Big thanks to Maguire Motion Productions for editing this. One more episode, then we've got to film a whole new season. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Today is episode six. Six, can you believe it? Of the quest for every Halo hero. In this epic series, spanning over a year and many, many, many more episodes, we are going to break open 10, 20, 100, 200, 300, whatever it takes to collect every single Halo hero. Of course, I could just buy one of each, but there's, there's no entertainment in that, folks. I'm going to rip open as many as possible. Possible. In the last episode, we scored Shipmaster Letvolia, Sergeant Forge, Reaper Morami, Captain Cutter, and a Marine Sniper. The theme of the last episode was Halo Wars. And in the previous episodes, we've bagged things like George, Emil, Carter, the Prophet of Truth, Sergeant Johnson, Vector, Soldier, Athlon, Warmaster, Julem Dharma Decimus. There have been so many epic figures pulled out of their packaging and released into the domain universe. The theme for today is Spartans. More Spartans, as many Spartans as you could think of. We're going to open so many more today. Oh, I'm excited about this one. This box has all of our Spartans. I'm looking forward to seeing if you guessed correctly which ones I'm going to open. You know the drill. Without further ado, let's take a closer look. Right in front of us, we have got six Halo heroes. Out you come, boys. One, two packeted sealed Halo heroes and four unsealed. And I keep it blurred so you can try and figure out what they are. What could this possibly be? So let's start with a sealed Spartan. You can tell once again by the yellow packaging, this is distinctly Halo Hero Series 12. Zoom in, it's what? A Spartan Gungnir? You may be saying, but Simon, you opened a Spartan Gungnir in episode three, and you are absolutely right. And I say, so what? <laughs> so what? I've said before, I'll say it again one more time. I think this is the most detailed Halo hero of all. Maybe next to Julem Dharma, it's got so much character. The metallic green, the gold, the bronze, everything is amazing. The cybernetic arm, which we really haven't seen that many more of. And then I do wish this knife was removable. The weapon has some great detail. Detailing. The eyepiece even has some really nice detailing. This is a highly detailed figure. So I wanted to start off once again with my boy, the Gungnir. Happy to have you on the team, buddy. This is my third and final Gungnir. I promise I won't buy any more. Well, you know, never make a promise you know you can't keep. Unsealed next, we've got a red Spartan. Ooh, can you tell me what it is yet? This is uh, maybe my favorite weapon from Halo Heroes? Maybe. The Fuel Rod from Halo 5 with that amazing red design on it. I just think that's flawless. You know what the weapon is. I'm sure that's told you what the figure is. It's the Spartan Wet Work. This is another figure that I do already have in my collection, but I'm happy to add another one, mainly for that fuel rod, to be honest with you. But also, this is a nice Spartan. I think he also goes really nicely with the Spartan Mark VI, like they're a cool duo. But this one, you know, it's it's got a lot of really nice details on that helmet that you might not notice at a first glance, but they, uh, they do win it for me. They are very nice. The legs are completely plain red. There's no detailing there, but that's okay. You also get some really nice detailing on the pelvis to compensate. Pop that in there and one, two legs. He's already coming alive. Not too bad. The wet work is just a, it, it is a strange Spartan. I know, I just know 343 has been like dying to make those kind of like out of law Spartans for a long time. Like they're so dope. Shoulders on this dude. He's got some just such nice detailing, man. Like, holy cow, that is really nice. There's so many different colors working sort of in perfect harmony there. The silver running across his helmet is dope. Uh, obviously no visor with the wet work. If I was a Spartan, I wouldn't trust my only line of sight to be a holographic display. Like, I definitely wouldn't trust that. I'd want to see what was on the battlefield through a visor. Nice. That fuel rod is just so sick, man. Holy cow. Just such a dope weapon. We'll insert him into the back there, and he's ready to go. He's also got my favorite color of base plate, the red, and I do actually really like that he's got some kind of like Cortana data AI chip ready to go. Like that ring is where you'd slot it in on his helmet. This wet work is fire, straight fire. 
We're going from red base plate to orange. We're cooling down a little bit. And I'm excited about this one because this is a Spartan that I've never seen before. A lot of the figures I've been opening in the last two episodes, I've been looking for the base plates primarily, but this one I've never seen before. This is the Spartan Gungnir. Interesting uh, patterns here, these massive ears. And I don't know, it's probably Forerunner-esque. Also, it's it may be unintentional, but this is one of the first times that I've seen paint from the actual, uh, you know, chest and things leak onto the back undersuit. Like, that almost never happens. But it sort of just crossed over there. You can see it crossing over. I, I guess that's probably intentional, yeah. If so, really cool. And not very often you see that. There's the Gungnir. Looking, looking so fire. Fire is going to be my code word for the day, apparently. My catchphrase. Uh, yeah, those rings work all the way around his body. Really, really nice. Uh, I like that I can react to some of these for the first time with you guys as well. I've never even built this one really it was just sort of loose uh in a bag and uh, i didn't really pay attention to it i just broke it down for this video so first reactions here folks first reactions popping those shoulders on now this is the main event whoa that light rifle look at that gold man oof Oof, that is a nice color. That is really crisp. Okay, so he holds that nicely. I would love to actually insert that into a uh, Promethean Knight and see what uh, see what it looks like. There's my Spartan Gungnir. Now, Spartan Gungnir is an interesting one. It's one of the only Spartans, it might be the only Spartan, that has had two iterations in Halo Heroes, like non-named Spartans. And look at the difference, man. How do you call them both Gungnir? They're so completely different. Three down, three to go we're halfway and we're moving on to what started it all actually this is from series one this is I think you'll have figured it out. I wonder how many people actually know just by the color. Spartan Defender, baby. Series one, when it first released, it was available in all stores in England. So of course I bought a full series straight away. I was so excited for Halo Heroes. Everybody was like, the buzz was massive. Finally, we were able to get like super, super detailed figures. So everybody wanted to get them. I think they probably sold exceptionally well, at least like the first three or four series. I know they still do sell very well. Um, I think the first few series will have been like actually very very popular so there's our spartan defender and yes he has my favorite storm rifle i love this thing i actually have a few of that storm rifle i bought them uh, off other people because uh, i didn't really want so many defenders but i wanted so many of those storm rifles i think they're so badass so that actually <laughs> that's that defender uh came together really quickly. I actually built that very fast. I love the speckled effect that they put all over these figures. When you compare the lime green, that sickly green to the new metallic green, there's no comparison. Metallic green all the way. I still respect it. Uh, the visor is pretty cool. Um, the, the helmet, I, I mean, it's not Mega Construct's fault, of course, but that helmet is just so ridiculous. I don't enjoy it <laughs> in Halo at all, but uh, each to their own. There might be some massive Spartan Defender Defenders out there. <laughs> defenders of the Defender. Here's our second packaged one for today. Halo Heroes Series 11. This was straight after Series 10, so it was a tough one to follow, and I think they did a pretty good job. Remnant Hunter. We've got a CQC. Lang ODST. She's a great one. The Master Chief with Overshield. Reaper Morami. And the last one left, the Spartan Operator. Really cool. And I, I totally dig that it's like that Halo Reach uh, weird red and yellow like almost like fire brigade. Um, imagine if a imagine if a Spartan was a firefighter. I bet they do a good job, eh? Uh, no, no fires getting through those suits. Look at that Spartan laser! Holy cow! I forget how good that Spartan laser is. That UNSC 08, even the yellow charging ring, that red mark. Yo, that's a nice weapon, eh? That is a nice weapon. I honestly, yeah, that. I mean, that might be the best uh, Halo Heroes weapon. It it might be. Um, I love the ammunition belt. It's exactly the same as this Gungnir. You know, they came very close together, so it makes sense. Also, the reach customization of having two different shoulders works. I love this thing. Those silver sort of flashlights, headlamps, amazing. The Spartan Operator, everybody. Spartan Operator. No complaints there. Just a really nice 
figure, and I love how they switch up the color halfway down the limbs. That's excellent. And that just brings us to our last Spartan for today. I actually said a few episodes ago that I was going to unbox this one. When I opened, where is he? The Spartan Athlon. I mentioned that uh, soon I was going to open this one, and here it is. If you're if you're a big fan of the channel, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about because you've watched all the videos. <laughs> It's the Spartan Helio Skrill. This was a figure that, to be honest with you guys, I was terribly reluctant to purchase because of this yucky, yucky color. What were they thinking? I don't know if they were experimenting with this, but it, it, it didn't work, guys. I'm sorry. This uh, muddy, sort of uh, very, very harsh wash is, uh, is, is, is ugly. You an ugly boy. You an ugly boy. Um, I really dig the Helio Skrill armor. I dig the lore behind it that, like, Sanghelio started to to make a mix between UNSC and elite technology such a dope idea and the helio skrill in the game I really enjoy using uh, but this this muddiness this murky murky color it's uh, it's not for me it's not for me but I, I still respect it Spartan helio skrill they did you dirty literally <laughs> oh gosh but he does come with a pretty sick DMR um, yeah that's that's a nice one this is the first of these Spartan helio skrills that I got my hands on um, uh, again, I w just wasn't looking to buy this, but this is not the quest for every Halo hero minus Spartan Helio Skrill. This is the quest for every Halo hero, so we must get even the murky colored ones. <laughs> Uh, still, dope armor, dope design, a really weird wash. Folks, one, two, three, four, five, six makes the total number of Spartans for episode six. Did you guess any correctly? Maybe. But we can't really see them all so zoomed in. So let's pan out and take a look at our haul. Folks, we went out fishing today and we got a big catch. And I'm talking Spartans are for dinner tonight. The six Spartans we got today are the Spartan Defender, Gungnir, Halo Infinite, Gungnir, Helio Skrill, Operator, and Wetwork. Six gorgeous Spartans, super iconic. Um, a questionable choice of wash, but uh, I'll let it go. It, it doesn't look so bad when it's next to everyone else. Uh, the Spartan Operator, the Spartan Laser particularly, I love. The Defender started it all very nice. The Gungnir, I'm a big fan of that light rifle. And the, uh, yeah, I guess it's a series for really good weapons, eh? That Fuel Rod, Light Rifle, Storm Rifle, DMR, and Spartan Laser are all straight fire. Folks, this, this is getting a little ridiculous. My Halo Heroes collection, it, it, it needs to calm down. There's, there's just too many of them. <laughs> Thank you very much for tuning in today, everybody. I really hope you enjoy this content. And episode seven is next. The theme for the next episode is Halo Combat Evolved. What figures do you think are gonna be there? Leave your predictions in the comments down below. I would love to know who gets it correct. This has been another episode of The Quest. For every Halo hero, and my goodness, we're making our way through, aren't we? We're, we're doing some good work here. The brand new Spartans today were the Helio Skrill and the Gungnir. The others are just great additions to my army. As always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, and today's haul is signing off.